Hey guys, welcome back to this week's What Came Out of the Tumblr. Uh, this week you get a special treat. We have two batches coming out this week, and both are going to be featured in another, other, their own separate videos. So if you want to see how they were tumbled, uh, make sure you subscribe, because eventually I'll get around to making those videos, editing them, and releasing them. I have all the footage now I need for them, but uh, yeah. So over on Kenneth's side, he has the Texas rocks that took forever to tumble and are the reason there was a big delay, part of the reason why there was a big delay in getting other rocks out. But um, And then over here you have the rocks that came out of the farmer's field. So which one do you want to start with? I don't know. All right, let's start with the Texas rocks. Um, my mom. These are picked up by my mom and dad in the parking lot in the church that they're serving at, and they just kind of grabbed whatever looked cool. And obviously, they picked a few cool ones. I I I barely know my Michigan stones, so forgive me if I don't recognize <laughs> a lot of state stones as well. I mean, quartz is quartz. It's hard to misplace quartz, but uh, and considering most of the planet is quartz, or most of the mineral on the planet, or whatever I read. But, yeah, they took a good polish, and they were nice and hard. And, yeah, I can't argue. They came out pretty. I mean, for random stones given to me, turned out all right. Nothing that I'm probably going to end up wrapping other than these guys. But, uh, yeah, it gives my mom a chance to pick through and decide what she wants to... She wants at least one pendant wrapped up, so I'm going to let her decide what she likes most and go from there. Alright, so that's those, and then we have more Michigan rocks. So these were came out of the farmer's field, and um, they're typical Michigan fair. I'm going to call that road night again. I know it's kind of rare to find road night in Michigan, but it looks like there's a little line of epidote through there, but otherwise it's mostly pink crystals on black you get a few little sparkles in there yep they kind of show up on the camera on it road night unikai yep hard to miss that and this is why i pick up every piece of quartz i run across <laughs> they just turn out awesome uh, what else we got in there uh some amygdaloidal basalt i like the way that stuff tumbles up who named that uh, well, amygdaloidal means there are holes that filled in. Uh. That's what the amygdaloidal, otherwise it's just basalt. Like, these are probably all basalt. Although I got in a few cool little lines in there. Uh, again, I don't know why I always pick these stones up, but... Or what my thought processes were when I picked it up, but... Just some were picked up by Kenneth. A little tip of red in there. Got a little sparkle in this one. Let's see if I can get a little closer and you can see it. Is that a, a fossil? This is a heart rock that looks a little bit like a fossil. <laughs> but it's not, I don't think. But it's not. Eee. Uh, your typical Michigan granite. And more granite. And more granite. granite. And then quartzes, of course, out the wazoo. I love the quartzes. I always pick up quartz whenever I find it. Although this weekend I did start passing up some little tiny guys that were smaller than this, pre-tumbled, and I was like, eh, I don't need to pick up all those. They're going to just disappear in a tumbler anyway. Oh, another little piece of green, greenish quartz. Some epidote in there or something. And anything else that's cool in here? So, yeah, anyway, some fun stuff. Just fun to tumble up, so if you're... Uh, the kind of person that just likes to grab stones from around their house and throw them in a tumbler, this is uh, exactly what you get. <laughs> it's kind of cool stuff, kind of neat. And, uh, yeah, again, none of it's super special or it came from exotic locations, but, uh, yeah, just thought it was fun. And, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye!